right, good evening everybody. Welcome to the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everyone. We'll call the public hearing for Mr. Judah to order at 6.01. Uh, Mr. Judah, did you want to join us or Charlie, you wanna, can you pull up a chair or well, do you want to vacate you yours? Right. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. So your application was a little bit which one, the first one or the second the one? The second one, because I'd asked uh, the town clerk to have you clarify what you'd like. So what I'm going to read is verbatim. Um, you wrote, would like all claimed papers claimed delivered to me removed. Um, in speaking with the town clerk, I filed this as an administrative appeal. So correct me if I am wrong. No, that's uh, the papers that I never received. Okay. So first of all, do you have the certificates that you mailed to Abutters? I have so much paper here now. There you go. I have Thank a bunch you. of paper. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So if you could just stay for record why you're here. Can you just actually give me one second. Pass this back to him. <laughs> what's what's the purpose of what's your desire? I'm protest uh, protesting the fine that was levied to me that I never knew about. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, it is the administrative appeal on Mr. Thomo's citation for violation. Um, and I mean, the only paper I ever got was the one that's right here that I signed. And everybody claims they got, sent me all kinds of paper. I didn't get any. And what do you have? This is the only paper I ever got right here. And that's the only paper I got, and that's the one that says that there was a fine levied against me in December. Okay. So this is. I never what received is... any of that paperwork. Okay. I don't know how you guys, how this operates. I don't know. We were working on a draconian system where we just send paper out and say, hey, you, you got fined since December, and here we go. I want to know how this works. All right. So, Mr. Thomo, I'm assuming you explained how. It worked, the procedures for? I haven't talked to Mr. Judah since he threw me off the property now. All right. Um, the, what was the date of that letter? That was issued by Mr. Thomo? Uh, January 7th. Okay. It's the only paper I ever received. Which it basically claims what he's appealing was the violations <laughs> of Section 4, uh, which I believe was junk and open air. Um, so, what we're here for, Mr. Judah, is to um, make a ruling on your administrative appeal for that uh, filing. Do we understand this? So we basically have to decide if Mr. Thomo is correct in citing him for the violation or incorrect. All right. My, my question about the whole thing is, why doesn't uh, Environmental Controls and Districts Section C apply to me? where it says screening open storage area shall be screened from the adjacent uh, residence or public way. I have a big fence. I got a picture to prove this. Do you and have it's that a up? stockade fence that blocks everything out of view. Can we see that picture? <clears throat> have you taken that into account, Mr. Thomo, the screening? I, I had photos initially that showed the junk in the That's how we got on the property with Mr. Julia and when I was on the property with Mr. Judah, he, like, we walked him on the property, we, I pointed things out to him, he agreed that he would remove it. I have a question. And then I gave him all stuff along, and he said he would take care of it. At the end of that time period, the fall, I went back to, uh, for a uh, re-examination of the property, and that's when he said, don't go away, get off the property. So the junk is there. I assume it's still there. And that's why we're here. When were these pictures taken, Mr. Judah? When were those pictures taken? Those were taken uh, this fall. Prior to that letter? Pardon? 
If it was this fall, it was not prior to the letter that Mr. Thomo had sent? Uh, no. I'm not seeing any junk in old pictures. I don't know if you want to take a look at those, well, Mr. Thomo. I have Thomas. a question for Mr. Thomo, if you don't mind. That's I've asked him this question several times, and he's always yes. skirted around the answer. This, this did you or did initial. you not take pictures yeah, of my problem? Yeah, which we were not. This is you did take pictures of my problem. Yeah. Did you have my permission to do so? Why, he dropped this one? Did you have permission to take pictures of my property? I was not on the property. I didn't ask that question, sir. I asked you a straightforward question. You said yes. Did you have my permission to take pictures? Did you have a court order stating that you could take <coughs> still surveillance of my property? I don't need it. Yeah, you do. Well, then take all right, the court all right. order. So that, that was I'll tell you what, you're going to lose Mr. Judah, through this board, please. Thank you. All right, do we have questions for Mr. Judah or Mr. Thomo? The first letter I issued him was given to the constable to be served. He didn't serve him personally. He, I think he left it at his residence. The second letter I gave a reminder to Mr. Judah, the constable gave it to him personally. I think he's disputing the first letter I gave that he never received it. I never received That's nothing. Now, lawfully, the way the constable issues the citations is legal. If you <laughs> leave it at the address, it's legal. We've had this discussion. And that's, that's, yep. that's the but we are, as a board, entertaining this based on the letter received, and again, it is an administrative appeal based on your citation. So again, the question is at hand, is Mr. Judah in violation of Section 4? And you have not driven past his property to, you have not driven past his property to see if he's come into compliance? Uh, he won't allow me on his property. Driving? I'm not going on his property. But dri he? driving past? No, I haven't gone by it. All right, I have a question to go along this. Why did he involve the Board of Health first? I can't answer he that question. He had the uh, Board of Health come on my property, do inspections. The first one he wasn't satisfied with, he had him come back and do a second one. The second one he wasn't satisfied with, he had him come back and do a third one. Now, what is it? He don't believe the Board of Health? I can't answer that question. Well, I'm, a, I'm asking, you why did board, he involve the Board of Health in this? Yes, sir. Mr. Seary is good friends with Mr. Drew, and he interceded on my behalf. So I could access the property with Mr. Judah. He just, that's all. It was nothing with the Board of Health officially. So the Board of Health hasn't filed any charges against you? The Board I'm, of Health has never filed any charges against you? No. Right. So Mike was just a liaison to. No, well, allow no, it, it was. Uh, first one was. Uh, oh, Chris, I can't think of his name now. Guy who lives down here on Route 9. Board of Health inspector or whatever he is. What the hell is that? I can't is think of Don? his name. Huh? Is it Don? Is Ron. No. Ron. 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 Yeah. Ron Wiseman. Yeah. Ron Wiseman came up twice. Now, he wasn't satisfied, so he had the whole Board of Health come up and do an inspection. Ron wasn't satisfied? No, 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 no. Nick wasn't? Yeah. Nick wasn't satisfied because he had to come back a second time. Then he wasn't satisfied with that one. The whole Board of Health came up. I threw, again, through the chair. I have nothing to do with the Board of Health accessing that. Who, who, who gave the, who, who So we, we, don't, we don't have the answer, sir. So again, um, I have not driven past the property. Um, I did speak with the um, individual that people are talking about. He states that the front is clean. Uh, the back, he did not know about screening, but Mr. Jew is claiming it's screened. Our bylaws do allow to have things stored if it's. Well, my problem is he's complaining about my scrap. I'm not doing a scrap business. I own an arc welder. I own a MIG welder. I own an oxyacetylene outfit. I use scrap metal to fix my equipment, my lawnmower, my trailers. To the chair, Mr. Judah agreed with me that there was junk and debris there. He agreed to clean it up, and then he backtracked on that, uh, and, uh, wait, and wait. then he kicked me off his property. The junk is still there, I assume, and I would love to have an opportunity to take a look at it with you. Well, that's, that's your uh, way of looking at it, but I'm looking at it another way. You use deceptive practices, first off, by telling me you had the right to inspect my property. When we were standing in the yard, and I told you your, your business stops at my fence, Mr. you Jim, told me no it don't. Through, through the board? 
So, all right. so, so, Mr. Thome was claiming what that you used was browbeating tactics Mr. to Thome, get on my property Mr. the first time. But he's claimed that you had a conversation with him, claiming that it was junk and you were going to clean it. Did you? It is junk. Did you clean it's it? Scrap iron. I use scrap iron to fix things. Right. Okay, you had a problem with my uh, asphalt roll. I only used it three times since I've owned it. He said I should get rid of it. Who is he to tell me to get rid of something? Is my question. I, I agree, 100%. You know, you come on my property, and then you start telling me what I have to get rid of because I ain't used it in three years. I'm sorry. The motor I took off and put away so it wouldn't be uh, exposed to the elements. All I gotta do is take the motor out and put it back on. It's mine, it's paid for. I pay my taxes in this town. I have never had a problem. He said he was gonna clean it up, and then he began. Hey, the Board of Health had no problem when they came in and did the final inspection. So, I understand that, Mr. Chairman. So, anybody have questions? I would like to see the report from the Board of Health. If there there's, there's been no nothing filed. Any other questions? Do you have any pictures of the question, the, the stuff that you... Nah. Did uh, you before? Yeah, there was junk and debris on it. Yeah. It's junk, yeah. So what, it's junk. I can own junk. Did, is it all in the backyard? The pictures that we looked at it's look, all in the backyard. look pretty, yeah, clean, look the pretty clean on the front. The all right, I have I'm sorry, what? Sticking out. Of sticking out. Here's a picture I was handed that they used. I'm sorry, I'm asking him a question. There were items sticking out of the ground, like it was very Is Is there a, a, a fence around it in the back? In the back, no. It's out to, in the woods. There's no fence in the back. There's no There's fence in the front. There's no, I can't see a really a fence on this, do you? This, and the front, the front looks all clean. You, have you seen these pictures? No. That's the front. Yeah. You want to come on up, Mr. Thomo? Yeah, take, take a look. look take a look at these. These are all this from the all front, from the, from the road. So I don't, I don't think they're showing whatever it was no, that you is saw. This the front of the house. This is the front of the house. Yeah, and it's all this clean. It's all in the back of the house. So was it screened right. from the road? So the, no. que the question was, is it screened in the back at all? On the sides, this. So is it not on the back side? Across, so, no. so what do you think of the screening? Is I it mean, is it good or is it not? I, I know this, this. It's a prohibited use. That's all I know. What, all what's the prohibited use? The zoning board is a prohibited use. What you mean the junk? The junk and the debris. Wonder if he has a junk within a fence that you can't um, see from the neighbors or from the road. How does that change things? Does it? I don't think so. The only way a neighbor can see my property is he'd have to climb a 50-foot pole and look down because it's also behind a building in back. You can't... Okay, if you were looking at this picture here... Where's the fence? Okay, which where's, picture do you have? The, yeah, that's the, that's where's, the, where's the fence? <laughs> Where's my fence? My fe you can't see, but here's the fence across here. Okay. There's a fence down this way. This is a f uh, <clears throat> brush line. It's a hedge. Here's where the stuff is that he's... In, in this too. That's actually. all gone. That's, dude, this that's is all gone. gone. I'm going to explain something. So what, something. Are, we, what are we explain talking about, this stuff here? You see this picture here? This picture was taken by I don't know who, but it's from 2017. You know how I can tell it's from 2017? These three pallets are my pellets, and I haven't stored pal uh, pellets outside since 2017. This truck is no longer here. It hasn't been here since the spring of 2018. All this is old. This is two years ago. So what's they used, This is a picture I was handed that so they what's, used. So what's there now? Nothing there. Nothing. This, this trailer there? is here. That shed is there. This stuff is all cleaned up. Okay. This is all cleaned up over here. In fact, there's a portable garage or whatever you want to call it. The canvas garages that they sell. There's one here. All right. All this over here is just debris that I had to pick up. But it's gone? That's gone. This is all cleaned up over here. This here is an area that I work in. There's a bench here. There's a couple of barrels here. That's a big stainless steel tank that I use for cooking. 
Over here is a fire pit that I use for barbecuing, but all this is pretty much cleaned up except for two four-wheelers. This for Perry Sierra is pretty well cleaned up. This is a camper, but the scrap metal that he's complaining about is over here and back where nobody can see it at all unless they're standing on a pole looking down at my property. Why can't they see it there from the road? I don't see a fence. From the road? Yeah. Or, well, here's or, the road over or from here. the neighbor here. This, isn't this the road here? No, this oh. is a driveway. This, this is, is the road uh, here. This is a way in the back. Okay. Uh, this guy here and this guy. This guy owns this here. Right. This guy only owns over here. Now, I don't know who Mr. Anonymous was, but this all stems from a problem with a property. <coughs> My neighbor had a problem. Well, my neighbor's got a kid that's... Well, we're not going to go, to, we're not gonna go down that road. So, so, Mr. Judah, if you can have a seat, please. Anybody else have any questions for Mr. Thoma or Mr. Judah? So my, my knee-jerk reaction is that we have a zoning enforcement officer that states he saw the material, saw the junk, but we don't have pictures for it, and we don't have him witnessing his alleged cleanup. So I don't know if we continue this and have Mr. Thoma... Yep. Yep. Just a, just a reminder, Mr. Judah admitted he had junk. Yep. And it would be simple if. But you've admitted. You and I would take a quick walk over there tomorrow. But we're, we have it in front of us, so that's where we say we either continue this and have that quick walk. <coughs> and I, but Mr. Judah, sure. We either have that quick. We either have that, qu once in a while, once in we while, either have that quick walk. Right, right off the bat, I want to tell you right now, I don't want him anywhere near my property. I don't want him within so, 10 feet of my property. So if, if I escorted, if I joined him, you'd still have a problem? I don't want him anywhere near my right. property. So then we cannot continue this and we have to make a decision this evening. So we either approve Mr. Judah's appeal or we deny Mr. Judah's appeal. Mr. Judah, I mean, this is pretty, just let the two of these people come on and look and, and, call, and call quits. I don't, I don't trust somebody who uses deceptive practices. Mr. Judah, I mean, but in order to come to an end of this thing without being more okay, what are you going to see? There's so two feet what, of snow in my backyard. If they're going to willing to go over there and take a peek, what do you got to lose? <coughs> no, you got as to far lose. as I'm concerned. So let Mr. Thalmo. My first, I only have one question. Why do we have to use deceptive practices? Let's, can we just continue on with this, please? Uh, this is still all part of it. That's he used very deceptive practices this, to gain access to my property. There's, there's no answers to that, sir. So we have to face what we have in front of us. We either jointly visit the property and continue this hearing, or we make a decision, yes or no, for your administrative appeal. I told you. You can come on. I would need Mr. Thomo because he's our zoning enforcement officer. <sighs> Do I have any time to think about this? Because I'll tell you, I'm, I'm really very leery of town officials who used very deceptive practices. I've had to deal with town officials before. You won't remember, but I worked for this town. I, I, remember, I've, I remember several conversations with you, sir. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds, if that's enough, for continuation or we make a deliberation this evening. All right. But I'll pick the day because I want another witness on So I, I, I need a date now, sir, so I can repost this meeting? Uh, pick a Saturday because what I'm going to have is a federal police officer with me because I really don't trust a lot of things. Mr. Thomo? The week from Saturday would be good. The 16th? Sure. So yeah, it's a Saturday, fine. March 16th, what time, Mr. Judah? Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 a.m. Mr. Thomo and I will be at your residence March 16th, 10 a.m. Um, with a continuation date of this meeting to what, gentlemen? Do you want to do it on the 19th, which would be two weeks from today? The 19th? Tim's not going to be here. I won't be here. What, when are you leaving, Tim? I'm not sure. I don't have my calendar with me. I'm just trying to figure it out now. But would that help you? Um, maybe. <clears throat> got so many dates in the Worst case is we can meet without you if we have four.
Which day were you thinking? The 19th? The 19th? Two weeks from today. Hmm. Planet, worst case you're not here, we'll just do it without you. Well, that could be a problem. If all four of us come, it shouldn't be. Hmm. Maybe Danielle can show. So the 19th, if you can come, you'll be here. Okay, but Danielle's not here at this one. Yeah, so I, it's, 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 it's another okay. issue. Okay. So I will entertain a motion to continue. <coughs> Excuse me, this evening's hearing to March 19th, 6 p.m., with the understanding that Mr. Thomo and myself will, will um, view Mr. Judah's property March 16th at 10 a.m. Do I have a motion? Make said motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Judah. Thank you. And I will adjourn the public hearing at 6.21. I got plenty of those. I okay. gave them. Did anybody uh, have any Must questions? Be Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be Google. Anybody have any questions on January eighth? Siri got this one. meeting minutes. No. Can yeah. I have a motion to accept and approve January eighth? Said motion. Do a second. So second. The, so the room. Any is discussion? Out here. Hearing none. All in favor? That's a two chambers. Aye. Same. Do we have Aye. a vote? Aye. Gentlemen. Yeah, the vote to approve. Is you can still approve it. I emailed them to you. You're good. No, All right. I will entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting at 622. Do a second. All in favor? Thank you, everyone.